when you play the bravest game. <laughs> Child Holiday Special 2011 with Wath Bowman as Morphe the Elf, Alex Reynolds as Father Christmas, Mike Sloss as Chewbacca, Elizabeth Pesh as Princess Leia, with Dave Barrelfield and the Wiggles on the Bono Charles Holiday Special 2011. So, Christmas, 2011. You know, this Christmas is a very special Christmas because it will be the last Christmas. What? You don't know the story? Oh, you ignorant children. You see, on December 21st, 2012, the world will explode. The Mayans have predicted the coming of the Dark Lord Gukamach, 
Now this mile-long devil bird will rain his terror upon the world, destroying man, woman, child, wreck, cot, tree, building, and parrot. But that is next year. This year, we're going to do some sketches, sing some songs, smoke some pipe weed, and I strongly suggest that you do. Right now. Otherwise, this whole thing won't make a lick of sense. And we're going to start this holiday the way that all holidays start. With Christmas carols. Now, who could that be? Ah! Professor Tolkien, I presume. Professor Tolkien died in the 70s. I have inherited his affairs, his appearance, and his name. I'm Tolkien, just say your line. At this festive season of the year, Professor Tolkien, it is more than usually desirable that we should make some... provision for the poor and destitute who suffer greatly and are in need of common comforts. Why, are there no prisons? Mm, plenty of prisons. And the teachers' union workhouses, are they still in operation? Public schools? They are still operating. I wish I could say they were not. Oh. I was afraid from what you said at first that something had occurred to stop them in their useful course. Good day, Goblin Man. I said Christmas carols, not Ah Christmas Carol. Do it right! Now, who could that be? Mr. Tolkien? Huh? Is your name Jonathan Tolkien? Yes? I've got something for you. Some letters. Letters to me? That's impossible. Who the hell are you? No one remembers. Regardless, I've had these envelopes in my possession for the past 40 years. They were given to me with explicit instructions that they be delivered to an old man of your description, answering to the name of Tolkien. At this exact location, at this exact time, Christmas 2011. Did you say 40 years? That's right. 40 years. Two months. And twelve days, to be exact. Well, that's all very fascinating. Thank you. Goodbye. Wait! You know, I still receive a lot of letters from a man who died in the 70s. But I read every one of them. Starting with this one. This one comes to us from Jeffrey in New Jersey. Jeffrey writes, Professor Tilke, was the Lord of the Rings meant to be an allegory for your experience in the Second World War? I'm glad you asked me this question, Geoffrey. I have long said that the Lord of the Rings was not an allegory for World War II. But of course it f***ing was! Think about it! The Hobbits were the English, Saruman was Germany, Aragorn was America, the Elves were Italians, Pippin was Egypt, Gimli was Africa, Treebeard was Lincoln, Gandalf was the North Pole, Tom Bombadil was the Bermuda Triangle, Elrond was the Moon, Faramir was the Homosexuals. It all makes sense if you read the whole thing. I hope that answered your question, Geoffrey. This next let... This next letter... comes to us from Clive in Bruges. Dear Professor, in your books, the Orcs are Black. They speak the black speech of Mordor. Sauron's tower is black. Are you a racist? Oh, I see now. Racist dwarves are off the table, but racist Tolkien, oh, that's fair game, is it? Let's all just talk about racist Tolkien in his big white racist house with his racist books and racist... I wrote a children's book full of letters from Santa, you backwater hippie. If you put down the bomb for a minute and pick up a dictionary, which I also wrote, you might want to look up a literary device we like to call archetypes. Think about it. 
If the orcs were pink, how intimidating do you honestly think they would be? This kind of talk on Christmas. Well, I'm not racist. This is racist. Of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen To hear Sleigh bells in the snow. Oh, Mr. Bunker, don't you roll the microphone apart? It simply splash testing. We now return to the Brother Charles Holiday Special 2011. <laughs> The city of Chicago is ready to fall. As the holiday season approaches, mass protests have shattered the people's once docile nature. And what could cause this organized chaos, this massive display of humbuggery? Only one thing. Gangs of Kris Kringles, set to bring about the end of the Windy City and Christmas itself. That's right. With a simple combination of fear and economics, the Kringles have driven the joy from the city and distracted the public from the spirit of the season. They've also used their evil Christmas magic to make it so that sometimes it's spring and sometimes it's winter, but never summer. And during these times of crisis, the people turn to their mayor and leader, Mr. Rahm Emanuel. Operator, get me Firefly. This is Firefly. Hello, Firefly. This is the mayor. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Enough small talk, Firefly. What are you doing? I'm doing a secret mission. No! I have a different secret mission for you to do. I only get my secret missions from Commander Noodle. What have you done with him? He died. Last night, he, uh... He killed himself to death. Oh! What's the scoop, Mr. Mayor? What secret mission am I doing now? Scoop! Scoop! You can't handle the scoop! Come on! Just tell me! It's really bad, Firefly. The Kris Kringle gang is back, and they stole the Chicago Chaos Diamond. Stole it? Took it! Without permission. Those evil fiends. Yeah. I need you to recover the diamond right now, or I'll have your badge! I don't have a badge. Your gun, then! I don't have that, either. Damn it all, Firefly, don't you understand? If you don't get that diamond back, there will be no Christmas ever again. The holiday season is in your hands, Firefly. But this time you won't be going alone. We've got our top man on the inside already. And where will I find this insider? He'll be waiting for you under the sign of the Dharma Initiative. You'll have no problem spotting him. Good luck. And Firefly? Yes, Mayor? Are you the insider? Uh, let me guess. You must be the famous Martin Bishop. What are you trying to do, get me compromised? You think that matters anymore? The Kringle Gang has been under our noses all along, and the numbers are bigger than we could ever imagine. I can imagine some pretty big numbers. This is a war, Firefly. They're going to strike, and hard, and soon, and so. The only way we're going to save Christmas is to hit them where they live, before they hit us where it hurts. And how do you suggest we do that? Oh, let's start right there. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Are you ready to talk, jolly man? This is some kind of misunderstanding. <laughs> All right. I'll talk. Ah, uh, yes. I was wondering what would break first. Your body? Or your Christmas spirit? We... We hid the Chaos Diamond in the North Pole. Of course. Of course. Of course! Our plan was to take Christmas down from the inside, see? And you're too late. Even now, my men are preparing to activate the Humbug Device. Humbug Device? A weapon. Stronger than a thousand hydrogen bombs and ten dinosaurs. Oh, come on, Insider. We've got to get to the North Pole. Firefly was tired and getting cold, but knew that he and the Insider had to get to the North Pole. They ran and ran, and ran and ran and ran, and then they ran some more until they finally made it. They made it to the North Pole. But I don't, I don't understand. Don't you see, Firefly? Christmas cannot be destroyed by men or elves with Chaos Diamonds. Christmas is a power greater than you or I. Christmas time means laughter. Toboggans in the snow. Caroling together with faces of love. Stockings on the mantle. A wreath on the door. A time when men and women open their shut-up hearts freely to their fellow creatures. And this shall be a sign unto you that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Therefore the post office department, a branch of the federal government, recognizes that this man, Chris Kringle, to be the one and only Santa Claus. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. No man is a failure who has friends, Firefly. And God bless us, every one. All right, I, I understand now. Let's go home. Soccer Boppers. More fun than by Big Time Toys. Soccer Boppers! Hey, Lindsay. I wish you didn't smoke weed. Slam Fest, only on Nintendo 64. <laughs> Christmas cake and jingle bells, mistletoe and wishing wells, sugar plums, a lump of coal, Santa sleigh, a barrel roll, gingerbread, the land of Nod, Superman must bow to Zod, candy canes and Charlie Brown, Bethlehem a sexy clown, swish and flick the magic wand, DDR a ducky pond, goats my dad, the wicked witch, paper planes, John Malkovich. Come on, you all know the words.
Gatorade, a billion ants, pesto, basil, underpants, checkers, vikings, Pakistan, Wonka, please turn off the fan! Mohammed and Crazy Bones, Red 13 and Davy Jones, Science Voodoo, a raccoon, 9-11, what too soon? Michael Richards went too far, now this movie's rated R! Pumpkin Patch a teddy bear, damn it I don't even care! Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, Oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, There are witches in the air. The third one said, But we don't care. The fourth one said, Let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the light. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. <laughs> Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hoppin' Easter's on its way, bringing every girl and boy, baskets full of Easter joy, things to make your Easter bright and gay. He's got jelly beans for Tommy, collard eggs for Sister Sue. There's an orchid for your mommy, and an Easter bonnet too. Don't be the terrorist. Don't be the terrorist. We got it. We got it. After this, we win Jenga. And 9 11 is saved. Nothing! I wish I knew. Your I eyes are like starlight now. I'll take your hat, your hair. I ought to say no, no, no. Mind if I move in the future? Say that I try. What's the sense in hurting my pride? Baby, don't hold out. Oh, but it's cold outside. Got to go, but oh, maybe you'll freeze out there. Say, lend me a It's coat. up to your knees out there. You really did. A thrill when you touch my hand. You How can you do this thing to me? And now you need to talk to me. Think of my life wrong, and son. If there will be plenty in life. If you caught no more, you had I die. can stay. Get over that hole now. Oh, but it's cold outside. Merry Christmas, Tolkien. Merry Christmas, George.
Kringle gang gets up. You know, people have asked me if there's a. Can someone pick up my beer and put it in the kitchen so in case it's not You ready? Ready. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs>